Hey there, so doing another video. Um, I know it's been a while and I'm sorry if my face being bright red distracts you at all. Um, just had a shower and no amount of blowing a fan in my face or drinking cold water seems to uh, do anything about that. So we're going with it. But anyway, um, like I said, I'd mostly be doing update videos for a little while. Um, and yeah, I haven't had that much to update about, but um, there was one thing in particular I wanted to talk about today, along with a couple of updates. Um, it's been a little hard to get back into it. Uh, one of my family members found my YouTube channel and uh, told me they did, and they thought I already knew because they thought it would uh, notify me when they subscribed, but they did not have public subscriptions on, so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was, you know, I know this isn't private or anything, but um, still a little uncomfortable being being watched by my family members but uh, just trying to get trying to get back into it here so um first a couple quick updates um i did get an email back from the psychiatrist i was talking to and i have an appointment in late september so that's cool i guess we'll try some more meds and see if anything helps not necessarily counting on it but you know <clears throat> gotta try some stuff so um I also got an email back from the psychologist I was talking to, or that office anyway, the, the therapist, and uh, I'm on the waiting list for a therapist. So, yeah, we'll see if anything happens with that in the next few months or so. Um, the main thing I wanted to talk about is um, something I talked about in my first video, which is sort of the hypersensitive subtype of AVPD and how I mentioned that I sometimes had had problems feeling especially angry towards people close to me. Um, so I wanted to kind of elaborate on that because I kind of had a new thought about it. So um, I kind of mentioned how I was generally timid around people I'm not comfortable with. Obviously, I don't want to see have anyone see me get angry or sad or anything because that'll just embarrass me more than whatever physical symptoms and voice shaking and stupid things I say are already embarrassing me. So I don't I don't tend to show emotions in those scenarios that I can avoid. Um, and um, I'm a little less timid around people I'm comfortable with, but what I realized when saying that I, I kind of had a tendency to be angry around people I'm comfortable with is that that's not really true. It's more that I have sometimes a tendency to get annoyed with when, I, when I'm around people who I feel like I should be comfortable with, but I'm not. Um, people that I feel like should be able to make me feel more comfortable and feel better about myself or could have done that in the past and don't don't really do that and it kind of feels like being let down um yeah you can probably guess the sort of people I'm talking about um so still having to be around those people makes me feel a little bitter and I think I think that's what makes me act act angry sometimes towards these people um and again, it's not like a, a huge deal for me, but it's enough that it, it makes me very off-putting to talk to when I act like it, right? So um, I just, I kind of uh, wanted to share that because even though it seems kind of obvious in hindsight, um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of nice to to realize that maybe I'm not necessarily predisposed to being getting getting angry with people as soon as I get comfortable with them and um it's it's more about people that I feel like have failed my trust that I that I might do that with and that makes me feel a little bit more confident about trying to talk to people in the future just knowing that I can you know try to kind of uh, get to know people and I won't necessarily act like a shit at do them um and I was thinking about this because I was talking to my friend of a long time that I've mentioned in my other videos and you know I was just realizing I don't I don't think I've ever gotten mad at that that guy or I don't think he's ever gotten mad at me like maybe on a couple super rare occasions that I can't even remember the subject matter of and like I remember everything like that because I'm always thinking about it and feeling guilty about it and the fact that I don't uh means that pretty much nothing like that has ever happened. And I mean, 
I've been hanging out with that guy for like 16 years, even if it's just mostly online at this point. Um, and um, that's just never really happened. So it just made me sort of reconsider that a bit and um, realize that while obviously it would be much better if I never acted like that, it's not necessarily always my fault and it's not necessarily always something I'm going to do because I, I need to be around people that I really feel comfortable with and not people that I feel like I should feel comfortable with, but I actually am not able to trust them. Um, and it's, it's difficult to get out of those sorts of scenarios. Um, especially with AVPD, you know, I'm sort of around the same people I am when I started developing anxiety and started developing AVPD. Um, I guess it's pretty obvious I'm talking about my family, so I should just say that, but, um, yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm going with here, but it's, it's sometimes not really easy to get out of these scenarios that make you, make you feel so bad about yourself and do things that you regret, but, um, I think it's nice to keep in mind that, you know, it's not just your problems, and someday you might be able to do something about it, and it might turn out a little bit better for you, so, yeah, this was kind of a weird video, and, uh, I was listening to music again, so I feel like I might have uh, acted weird a couple times, but anyway, I, I think last time it did help me speak a bit more naturally, so we're trying it again, and the other video is, you know, it wasn't rehearsed, but I, I had a little more of a script written, and um, I was, um, I, I did a couple takes until I got one that I was comfortable with, because, you know, that's just what you do. I don't, I'm already super weird about posting these videos, so... Um, I don't want to get one that seems especially weird or bad for some reason, but um, this time I pretty much did it in one take other than a couple quick start and stops. And I wrote like 10 words on a notepad file to remember what I wanted to talk about in general. So maybe a little weird, maybe a little more natural. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, um, maybe that helps somebody feel a little better. But anyway, it helped me feel a little better. So... Yeah, I just thought I'd I'd share that. So anyway, thanks, and I'll see you guys again later.